Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and this is a two-part video. First of all, it's this week's tarot and I do apologize I didn't do one last week, but I was busy <laughs> with other stuff so I didn't get time to do one. But this week, here I am doing my weekly tarot for this week and I'm also doing AI technology. Now, big thing is guys, we must stay aware of what is going on, okay? Now, I want to, first of all, I want to redo something that I put on Facebook the other day. Um, let me just find it. Oh, here we go. Okay, so I got this, I play games on my phone at night time. I like playing solitaire, backgammon, Spider Solitaire, Yuka, those sort of things, right? They're all free to use on the App Store. Huh. I've just done a video on why we shouldn't be using apps and I mentioned the games that I play. So, while I play my games, there's ads. And this ad came up and it said, pay safe with your face. What? So this is from one of our banks here. It's Westpac Bank. This is the ad. I took a photo, a screenshot. Pay safe with your face using Apple Pay and Face ID. So one of my friends actually commented and she said, I've already been using this whenever available. My face must be all over the place. And I replied, it's not just your face. Now they have you. They know where you spend. They know what you spend, how much you spend. They know what you spend on. And most importantly, now they can stereotype you so they know your future spending habits. Scary stuff. So she replied, oh my goodness. And then I said, I cover my face whenever I'm near those cameras or I put my bag over it. Why do you think they wanted everyone wearing masks two years ago? I believe in my own personal opinion. They were testing this technology, seeing if the AI would pick up half faces or just eyes that were covered. There were no coincidences. These cameras came out after COVID. So we have to be aware, guys, of what the AI technology out there is doing. You know, Elon Musk came out a few weeks ago and he actually said AI technology is the worst thing that we can ever do. We look at the Terminator movies and we all know how that ended. So what are they trying to tell us here? I personally want to get back to a part of our history where we were safe to leave our house knowing that no one was watching us. Big Brother. Remember when Big Brother first came out and everyone everyone flocked to watch the TV show? Oh, wow, we're watching these people 24 hours a day. That, to me, in my personal opinion, that was them conditioning us to want this in. That was us getting desensitized to what their motives were. So we wouldn't worry, we wouldn't be concerned when we start seeing all these cameras everywhere, when we see all these laser rays everywhere, hand print identification, facial recognition programs all over the shop. So I personally don't want to be in a part of this, okay? I personally, I want to go into a shop where I trust my own inner intentions and my own integrity whether I shop steal or not that's why they pay someone who goes home and pays their rent and looks after their family <laughs> because AI robots don't do that right so I prefer somebody to be standing at the door who I can have a little chat with and say how's your day going here's my bags here's my receipt I would prefer that any day rather than having this camera faced at me now, one thing I have noticed in the shops, where they have the cameras now, if this was for store um, retention of stock, if this was to stop shoplifters, 
Why aren't those cameras showing where people scan the goods and it goes into the bags? Why isn't these cameras there showing the bags to show if there's anything being shoplifted inside it? Why are these cameras only aimed at the head? You waking up? We have to be aware. We have to be against this. I'm against this. I don't want this technology in because they stereotype us. They then know our future spending habits, which marketing, they always look at what trends are going. Yes, okay. But this is going into dangerous ground where we're now using AI technology. Now, that person who used the Westpac app, okay, because it's an app, and that person then has to show their face, okay, I'm going to show it again. So this is on my Facebook page. Look, there's, whoops, there's me. I'm Linda Ray on Facebook. Go find me, okay? You can easily go and find me on Facebook, okay? And I'll just show you my, where's me? There's me if you want to go and follow me on Facebook. I've got an open publicity thing so you can just go and check out everything that I do on Facebook okay please don't send me a friend request because I get so many spammers out there the only way I accept people is if they message me and say hey please add me this is who I am okay and first thing I do is to check out your um, profile picture as well so please know I do my research on who's my friends okay I actually say PhD in philosophy, psychic medium, end of year, ufologist, non-sheeple. It's there on my profile. Okay? So you can add me if you like. So when I scroll down, here is pay safe with your face. Wow. I don't know about you, but once they've got your face in facial recognition programs, what else are they going to use? What else are they going to do to us? Now, Elon Musk has already come out and he's already saying that we won't need a phone in five years. It's going to be a chip in our heads. So every thought we have. Now, let's go back into spiritual now. Every thought we have, every intention that we have, they know what we think. So someone who says, I don't know, I'm just going to make something up here. This is a total exaggeration and it's a total example, okay? So somebody who says, oh man, I hate that guy, I wish he was dead. <gasps> they know that we've had the intention to harm. So, at your door, what's the matter? Well, you've had this intention. You want to hurt that person. Why? He's a fine. Don't think this is true? It's coming in. Imagine if you were out there doing spiritual work. And you're there manifesting and using your psychic abilities to become wealthy and famous. And you're bringing in all this good for everybody. Guess what's going to happen there? Knock at your door. Hello, we've got the black van. Please put on this mask so we don't know where you are taking you. Okay? They want the psychics. You know, we've got to listen here. There's dumbs, deep underground military bases. They're all over the world. D-U-M-B, dumb, deep underground military bases. So where do you think they take all the psychics? You know, you look at the 1950s, 60s and 70s with all their psychedelic experimentation that they were doing on psychics. Do you think they're still not doing that? I have, I have a fear every day a black van's going to turn up outside my door. Wow. Wow. So we've got to be smart here, guys. This week, now I don't know what it is, but this week I am getting told, be aware. Okay, I've just done my Prophecy Part 1 video. Please go watch it if you haven't. That's all about the cure and the sickness. My Prophecy Video Number 2 is all about war and how many people are going to die in this war if it eventuates. Now, I've also got another video there. It's called Banks, ATMs and Apps. Yes, I'm looking at my screen right now. I've already filmed it yesterday. So it's ready for uploading. I will be uploading that Monday or Tuesday. 
ATMs, banks and apps don't use them and I'll explain why. Okay, then I think I've had enough of this conspiracy type, is this real, is this not real type finard. So I'm going to get back into my holistic, heavenly, angelic videos. I want to start doing a monthly meditation video. So for a tester, I'm going to do a video probably in a few days after I finish with all this AI, what they're doing to us videos, because it, I have to get this out there. We have to start standing up and getting into our spiritual war. Okay. So one of the things, it is on my Facebook. So let me go back into Facebook. Yes, I use an app. Oh my God. Actually, I don't. I go in through um, Siri to access it. Okay, where is my, where is it? How long ago did I share it? Oh my God. Oh, I've got, here it is. I've got a really cool thing there about cancer and saying pepper and turmeric, by the way. So if you want to go and listen to her, um, but here it is. I'm going to do a video with the 963 healing video. All right, now this is on public Facebook, so I'm sure that it's got heaps of shares. Okay, so I'm sure that this person is open to me using it on a video, but I will say who it's from. So listen to this. Wow, and I'm going to be doing, oh, hang on, there you go, I just turned it up. So I'm going to be doing a video, Ancient Roots Media. I always say when I use anything from anybody else, Ancient Roots Media, if you want to go find them on Facebook, because I'm going to be doing a med meditation video using that, where I will be giving information about how I'm going to start doing a once a month Zoom. So I will be sending out information on how to access the Zoom. Please make a contribution through PayPal and I will let you know the time and date. So obviously I'm trying to get around time zones, etc. because I'm here in Australia, but I'll do it at a time when I hope and pray that a lot of people can come in and watch. So you'll get the access code so you're live in the Zoom. And then I will also um, upload that to YouTube. Now, the other news this week is I'm still trying to get my internet together. It's been four months in this new house and it's still not working right. So I'm trying to negotiate to get out of my other company. Okay, they're making it hard for me. So I think I'm just going to be paying two bills a month for a chat for a while until they finally just get the notice that I don't want them anymore. But um, anyway, I think what I actually, instead of doing it where people pay and get the link, I'm just going to do it live and then people and then process my PayPal if people want to just support me doing these meditations. We need to stay focused. We need to stay in that love emotion. And most of all, we cannot be angry about what's going on because then we're just creating their energy more for them. We have to give them the energy that we have so then they feel it. Okay. So let's get into today's tarot. I've got my ruin stone here already. I've got my lovey dovey card and I've already got my tarot card for this week. Okay. Now, as you know, I do not fabricate this stuff. I've pulled them off, um, off tape this morning. So I've already shuffled my cards. I do the whole shebang where I say, please give me a card that anyone on the right side of the spiritual ward needs to hear this week. So, and then I just shuffle, 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 shuffle until the card gets thrown out. So the first one I want to show you, love you, card, David card. Thank you for being here. Um, <laughs> giving her some credit because she loves it. My lovely dovey card. Love would smile at every given opportunity so as to spread joy. Now, the big thing here that we need is every given opportunity. Every given opportunity is our chance to be good, nice, lovable people. If someone comes at you angry, don't mimic that back at them. Don't retaliate because that's all negative. Don't hold a grudge about it. Don't get offended, okay, because that's all negative traits. 
send them love and say thank you so much for showing me that you're not in a nice mood today. What can I do to help you through it? They might go and, and react worse, but at least they see that you're not going to mimic or trigger or get triggered, I should say, by what they're doing. The worst thing that we can do is get angry at angry people. I'm going to tell you as a story. Years ago in my old house, we had some really nice neighbours across the road who used to fight and swear at each other every day. One day I looked out the window, she was on the ground and he was there kicking into her while she was on the ground screaming. And he's just got his fist up and he's kicking into her. And I thought, right, I'm going over. I'm not tolerating that stuff going on in my neighbourhood. So I went over and I said, mate, to the guy, he was a big guy too. And he came over <laughs> like a big gorilla. <laughs> and I said, are you okay? Now, see how I just said it? Are you okay? Soft tones, calm tones. I wasn't being, I wasn't reacting emotionally to what they were doing. I said, are you okay? And he said, what do you mean? And I said, you're looking pretty upset. What do you need? And he calmed down and he started to think. What, 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 what? Because he's used to police arriving. He's used to being thrown up against the wall, handcuffed, taken away. She's used to people coming out. Oh, I'm so sorry for what you've been through. She was so used to, oh my God, what can I do for you? So she's a victim. He is the aggressor. Who do you think needed the most help? Both of them, obviously. But I started with him to stop the situation. He ended up having a big cry fest in front of me, bawling his eyes out. You don't know what it's like. I go to work every day. She sits at home with the kids. She's always accusing me of sleeping around. She's doing this and blah, 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 blah. Then she comes over. But you're never home when you say you're going to be home. I get scared. And I said, oh, you say you get scared? And I said, I said to the guy, how do you feel that she gets scared? She loves you. She's worried about you when you're late. Have you ever told him that? I said to her, have you ever told him that you're worried when he's late because you're here with the kids? What would happen without him? She said, no. I said, well, how about you start saying how you're feeling to him? The fighting stopped for about three weeks. But then again, it started again because they tried. And that's what we have to do now, guys. We have to try. Break that cycle of what other people are doing as their behaviours. Start being that nice when people are angry. Start being that compassion when people are frustrated. Start being love in a world where everybody wants to H-A-T-E. Because the more we bring in those good energies, the more we're going to be fighting this war. And this week, I don't know why, but this week, pardon me, it's at a crucial, critical stage in the manipulation of what they're doing to us. I don't know if you've noticed it, but there's a lot of angry people out there this week. Pardon me. So love would smile. Show people that you're nice. Any given opportunity, especially when it's angry, frustrated, impatient, H-A-T-E people. So don't accuse them and say, why? Because I've already got done a video about why. Why is such a bad word because it's accusing people. Go watch it. It's on my videos list. Why? I don't like why. So... Don't say the word, why are you asking like this? You say something like, oh my God, I can imagine what you're going through. Oh my God, how can I help? How? And you ask what, not why, what? What do you need? What can I do for you? What is it that you're looking for today? 
So we don't ask why, because that's so accusing. Why haven't you taken the bins out? That's accusing them, because I wanted it done. And it's also controlling. It's how we control people by using the word why. So smile and ask simply, what can we do for others? Okay? This week, the energy is so nasty out there. So now, okay, you want me to do the ruin stone now? Okay. Well, I've got the ruin stone, but I haven't looked him up in the book. Where is it? Hang on, I'm just going to look at him again. Oh, oh, it is here. Okay. So it's this one here, that little arrow on the side. Let me just hold him up so you can see him. I hope I've got him the right way for the book. Yep, yep, I've got him the right way for the book. Okay. So it's this one here. Now, this one is Kainas, and it means fire. So I'll just hold him up just in case you want to zoom in and have a look. Now, I always say the good side, face up, because it's not face down. Face up. Okay, so I'm going to read the yellow little bit first. Kainas is fire. The fire that lit the hearth of homes. The fire symbol that conveys warmth, safety, and comfort also represents the inner flame that is within us all and drives us to pursue our passions and dreams. Now, passions and dreams are all things we love, right? So this fire stone is that ignition. Oh, I loved how that just came out. This is the ignition of all our love emotions, our passions, our dreams, so get out there in your home and outside of your home and create that love emotion. That's what it's saying. So we've got three dot points this week. Three dot points. One, a positive ruin indicating protection and safety from current concerns. This week, doll, guys, <laughs> mates, whoever you are, this week, be very aware of protecting yourself against what other people are doing to us okay we must be aware go watch the videos i've just done um prophecy part one and part two war and um what i was told in 2001 okay number two problems may mitigate or ease so what happens in a fire it gets really bad or it gets really good okay you can have fire to cook food and keep you warm, or fire is destruction. So be aware how we use this energy this week, okay? The last one, also, a signal to pay attention to your inner voice or intuition to deal with an issue or to pursue a passion. Haven't I been saying that? Oh my God, I love it when I get these stones right. This is what I've been saying in my last two videos that I've just uploaded. We must stay aware of what's going on, okay? Use your intuition, go with your gut. And this is what the, even, you know, even the Ruin Stone this week saying this, a signal to pay attention. Be aware, guys, of what's going on. Don't get involved with frivolous stuff. This is not a time to worry about that guy screaming at his girlfriend across the road. Unless it's impacting on your social, um, your life, mental health, etc. Okay, don't get involved in other people's issues. This is your time now to concentrate on what we want to create and where we want to be in two years after all this mess starts to settle. Now you're ready for the tarot card. I've already pulled it. It's here. It is number fifteen in the major arcana. If you know it. And today I got the devil card. The devil. Oh my God. Kept the best till last, didn't I? So with all this chaos going on around us, with all these people now being angry, wanting to hurt us mentally and physically, let's have a read of what the devil card says. Temperance represent. Oh, sorry, I was reading temperance. The devil. <laughs> I was reading the other side. The devil's presence quite often appears when a situation is dragging you down and you feel helpless to change it. Now, isn't that what happened? 
Look at all these new mandates, new legislation coming through, all these new rules, laws, everything else that's going on around the planet now. We feel hopeless that we can't change it, but wait, we actually can just by being alive. Okay? As I said in my last video, at the end of the Terminator movies with John Connor, the famous line that he said, it was something like, I now realize I was not supposed to, I wasn't supposed to win the war. I was merely supposed to survive it. We have to be John Connor during these times. You know, I've been calling myself Sarah Connor since my daughter was born. That's 17 years ago. I was telling everyone when she was born, I'm Sarah Connor. I've got to protect this one because of what's coming in the 2020s. People thought I was a nut. People thought I was insane. They shunned me. They hated me for it because they didn't understand what I knew was coming. All right. It can show a form of enslavement. Well, don't we all feel like slaves to the system at this point? Yes. Whether to an ideal or an addiction or even a manipulative or controlling relationship. Now, we all have a relationship with our government, whether it's we do something banking, whether we're doing something with the Electoral Commission. Look at that email I just got the other day. I showed it in um, one of my videos. <laughs> it's either part two about war or where um, this one that I'm going to upload in a few days, banks, ATMs and apps. It's already here on my desktop, guys. I've just got to wait until the I get told to upload it. Okay. We have a controlling relationship with all these government bodies, right? Overindulgence tends to result in upset greed or lust that can become self-destructive. Overspending is a typical example. Don't overspend at this time, guys. Save your money. You know, if we do go into a war situation, we need stockpiles of food, toilet paper, <laughs> petrol in your car. You know, I do not go under half a tank. Okay, as soon as it hits half a tank, I always fill it up again. All right, so always consider where you'll need it for the next few weeks in case stuff stops again. Remember the lockdowns? We easily forget what happened only two years ago, but we must remember we'll stockpiles of food where there was no toilet paper, no food in the shopping centers. Okay, and you couldn't leave your house. However, the important message is that it is self enslavement. By taking control of this behavior, we are released from it and we are free to walk away. Now, some out there believe that we are the only soul living this existence and everything around us are non-player, what do they call them? Non-player characters, NPCs. If you're playing a video game and you have all these little people just walking around in the video game that do nothing, they're just there. Or you see a random dog sitting on the side of the road, it's just there. Well, how do we know that we're not in a simulation like that? How do we know that we're not in a matrix situation where we are the only conscious being? Wow, I'm going down a rabbit hole now, aren't I? Okay, but it's food for thought, isn't it? So we have to remember here that we create the future and the present that we want. It's all about our mindset. The more we play victim, like that girl across the road, oh, what can I do for you today? She doesn't, she doesn't want to help herself. She was, why do you think she was out in the front yard? She wants everybody to see what was happening. So they all run over and save her. Okay? Why do you think she ran into the front yard? She didn't keep it in the house and try and talk to him civilly. She wanted everyone in the whole street to come run into her assistance. So how do you think she felt when I went to his assistance? Yeah, she never spoke to me, but he did. Okay, okay, so self-enslavement, by taking control of your behavior, uh, we are released from it and walk away. Now, I'm going to plug it, my book, The Teachings of Heaven, in the back of my book, Five Years in Heaven, look how thick it is. It's all techniques on how to be a better loving person, how to be more angelic. If you want a copy, please don't go to Amazon or Lulu, okay, please buy it through me very very cheaply because I only ask what you can donate okay and then I send you the PDF 
copy. Now, somebody said to me the other day, he got this um, app where when it's a PDF, it reads the PDF to him. Wow. So there are apps out there who read PDFs. So you can be driving down the road and you're listening to my eBooks. Okay. Wow. Okay. It can also carry an aspect of secrecy. Oh my God, look how much secrets are out there. They're still not in, they're still not disclosing the ingredients in these medical procedures. Have you noticed the secrecy going on? Secret plans are being made either by yourself or others around you. So we must protect ourselves, do our grounding and stay intuitive. So we're above this, right? The surrounding cards, well, the surrounding cards, well, that's my ruined stone of fire. Fire can be bad, fire can be good, remember. And also, doesn't matter what's going on around us, always be nice to everybody. It's always an opportunity to be nice. Okay? Let us not forget that prior to being symbolized as an evil figure in religion, the devil was previously identified as the pagan god Pan. Wow. So, how are you feeling today after all that, guys? I think I've given you a lot of information. I'm not going to waste your time anymore. Comment below if you want to support the channel. My PayPal link is below. If I love getting contributions because that allows me to update my equipment. And I'm actually saving up now for a laptop so I can go down the park and do lives, etc. down at the park. Okay. I want to start doing so much more good things for you guys this week, this year. So obviously I can't do that by myself because I'm just me. Um, this is my work, obviously. I only get paid if you guys wish to contribute towards my cause so I can get more better content out there for you guys. So my PayPal link is below in the description. If you like my videos, please share them to your friends. We have to share our information. We have to find our tribes, right? How do you find out who, who's on your tribe unless you tell them who you are? So then they say, oh yeah, I want to know more about what she's doing. Okay, so get out there, find your tribe, share my videos. Press like if you've liked this today. Please um, subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And please stay tuned for my banks, ATMs and apps video, why we shouldn't be using them. That'll be uploaded in a few days. And then I'm getting back into my meditation. I've got a video here already for dreams because that's a question that somebody's asked me. So that's a question about dreams. And I want to start doing more heavenly videos again, making us more angelic. So please have a great day wherever you are. Good evening, good night, wherever you are. Stay safe. Stay above the negativity around us. Stay in that smiling, beautiful, opportunistic kind of state of being nice to everybody. And I love you all. Take care. And I love you. Talk soon. Bye.